could spread your love? What if your sweetness could reach everyone? There'd be no wars. Birds will sing about your heart Maybe the trees will whisper the word Maybe the sun will spread your joy To the ones who lost their hope Welcome to my day. I am not going to put makeup on my face today. I am just gonna give it a little bit of a breather. I don't have anywhere to go. I do have one virtual call tonight. We're doing a little volunteer um, therapy session, a marriage therapy session, Jason and I, for a friend of ours who's doing some clinical research for a paper she's writing and a class she's taking. Um, and so we're just gonna do a little marriage therapy tonight. Ashley also has a therapy call. It's her first one and she got a little anxious this morning thinking about it. We are gonna discuss it any more than that just because obviously whatever she talks about during that therapy session and going forward is going to be private but I'm hoping we can kind of get her the help that she needs for anxiety because we think that maybe that's causing some of the stomach aches but also just helping her find a voice helping her find the right words I think all of my kids at this age had a hard time with like connecting with logic sometimes and I know that seems kind of silly because she's a really smart girl but like she's not connecting that if we eat good food our stomach will not hurt she has can't like work through that logic and I don't know if the doctor will be able to help her but anyway so she's gonna be home in an hour and a half to do that call and then I'm hoping she'll be able to go and play with her friend I think the friend's sister is gonna come pick her up and they're gonna go and do that fun center I hope I need to text her her sister friend's sister again but I am finally kind of caught up on laundry and the house is clean the kids did a good job with chores here I cleaned all the bowls and pans and stuff from the cookies last night. Ooh, I've been thinking about having another cookie since I had one last night. And then I was re-editing that video this morning. <laughs> They're so good. So I did have that big breakfast this morning. It is noon, it is 12.30. So I waited pretty long into the morning to have my breakfast. I'm still trying to do that intermittent fasting. Some mornings when I wake up and I have that strong hunger pain, I go ahead and like cave into that because it's my body telling me you need food right now. But other times when I'm not noticing it, then I let it go and I, kind of get it as far as I can and not having something to eat in the morning. So I feel like I could have a cookie if I can get one more, start one more task. I don't have a whole lot of time, but it is time, you guys. It is time and I kind of wish that I had had makeup on today because it's kind of a big thing for me to get other things done before I start this process. And that is packing for Hawaii. I'm not going full bore. I'm not even gonna do my kids' clothes. I'm not going to today. I might actually go through their closets this week and make sure I can pull out like tank tops and, and shorts and kind of set those aside for Ashley because I also know what she's getting for her birthday. Same with Chelsea. But Chelsea wears her shorts and tank tops every single day. She's like, when am I gonna pack? I'm like, on, on the day before we leave. <laughs> You're gonna have to hurry and wash it all and throw it into your suitcase. So what I'm gonna do is go out to the garage and start getting some of our swim gear. I'm gonna get some shoes on because last time we pulled out our snorkel masks, they kind of still had sand in them and like our full face ones and they kind of needed to get washed and our towels, they didn't need to get washed but I just feel like they smell like they've been in a bucket for a couple months and I like to just have them be at room temperature. You know, I'm just gonna put them in my bedroom, start prepping that kind of stuff and see what we're missing sink, see if anything is broken, see if I have enough sunscreen. It's all out here in the garage and so I'm just gonna start. We're gonna start. Okay, you can't see it out here. See how sunny it is, okay? It is actually raining. Let me see if I can show you on the rock right here. Look, this rock is actually getting wet. Can you see that? Can you see the rain? Can't like show you houses because then I can give away the address but see these leaves are just little specklings of wet. That's crazy. It's raining out here but it's so sunny. All right. These are our swim buckets. I actually just think I'm gonna throw this away and donate this. This is Ashley's old puddle jumper that we no longer need. Take that to Goodwill. And booster seat, we cannot donate. I don't even know if I can technically throw it away, but we don't use it anymore. So, all right, so it's like going through these buckets is kind of annoying. That's a birthday present. 
can't show you what's in there, I forgot. This is a good thing though. I need to pull out birthday presents and go hide them in my bedroom. I forgot that we had had a, a few of them that we needed to put in here before our trip, before birthdays I mean. I'm gonna use this towel to wrap up said gift that I just almost exposed. Luckily I can edit. See, I don't take these big, huge, bulky towels. Check this out. That is three whole towels. I would need three more like that to take with us. Or I can take one, two, and three somewhere in there. But you get the idea. Look at that, the comparison of towels. <laughs> These are Dock and Bay. I will talk about these again when I do more of the packing video and stuff right before our trip. But we love these towels. You don't need to spend the money that I did on these ones because you can find knockoff ones now. They work just as fine, I think. But I did love getting these at the time and they are holding up quite well over time. So I'm just gonna go through. I don't know if we're gonna do all the cinch bags, but I think I might just pack them anyway because they did come in handy for beach gear in general. But I also have like swim covers and anyway, some of the towels are not in bags. Some of them look like they need to be washed. This is why I'm pulling it all out now. And sunscreen. There's our coral reef sunscreen that we got last time. And looks like we have a decent supply of face sunscreen and spray and cream. But I'm just going to go through this stuff and start taking it in. I'm actually going to grab one of these bags here. Might even need two. And take them in because these actually need to get packed as well. I'm gonna try and see if, oh, I really hope Hawaii does these bags again. I'm hating that I didn't get them the last time years ago because now I don't have any, but I'm gonna use these to pack up some of this stuff and take it up to my room, which is where I pack everything for our trips. Okay, here's the progress so far. I've got a whole bunch of old swimsuits that don't work. One $5 one from Shein that was like, uh, I was dre dressing my then eight year old as, uh, it was so not okay. <laughs> So like far up on her chest. Anyway, old swimsuits. A lot of these were from donations from other things that we just never wore. So I can happily pass that stuff along. I found a bag for our snorkel gear. I think I just lost it. This is the other one that we have um, for our fins and our masks. But I, I didn't know where this one was. So I'm glad I found that one. This has our goggles, some of our goggles and pool toys and a, a little tube. Then this one here has the new swimsuits that Chelsea just got. Um, um, and then other ones that we've already had. So I'm gonna go through those upstairs. My swim purse, bag, satchel, whatever you wanna call it. And then I have two swimming suits that I'm gonna have Chelsea try on. She doesn't like pink and she doesn't like patterns. So I, I'm pretty sure she's gonna say no to these. I don't know. She doesn't have anything that like would colorfully match this one, except that she does have black. But I don't, again, I don't know if she's gonna like the pink. She's very non-girly, even though like this is very girly to me, but she doesn't think so. So I don't know. She's kind of cute and fun. and. Again, I got these free a long time ago. They just haven't been used. They didn't ever fit the right person at the right time. Then we have all of our towels lined up down there. They all have a bag. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. So see, I'm missing one. I'm missing, I don't know what color I'm missing, but I need to find one more. Then I have this big bag of our big old towels. We actually do use these for the beach because they are nice to like lay on. When Kaylee and Abby go down with their friends by themselves, they do tend to take these ones and they lay on this one and then use their other small one, this one, to like wrap up and get warm after they've gotten wet. So these are just gonna go back into the bucket because we are not taking those. Okay, I'm filling up a second bag. I've got more sunscreen. I think we're good on sunscreen and all of our face masks. These are our snorkel masks. We have done, gone to these instead of the other ones. We have four of them. I think we have three adult sizes now and one kid size. Then I found these cute bags from when we were in Kauai. I think our um, unit gave this one to us. And then this one came free with probably a t-shirt. I don't even know what company it would have been from, but I thought they're kind of cute. So I'll see if we need to take those with us just as like a little beach bag. And then this one we've already gone through. So I think we're set, but look at this. One I found a squirt gun. Actually, it's probably garbage, but I'll see if it works and then we'll just donate that. But then look how gross, you guys. Look at this set of, snor of goggles. We haven't pulled it out and this is probably last February. That's sand. And we love these goggles. They work really, really good. So now I've got to like, I got to make sure hose it off outside so I don't get that sand down my drain. Okay, so I'm gonna take these two back in and then that one will stay in the car. We'll donate that one. And I think we're set to go in and start on the inside stuff. Okay, now to head out front and wash with the hose. Get the sand off. Ah, it's getting me. 
All right, that seems pretty good. Okay, for the most part, I think I can get up in there with water from the sink. See, it's still on the nose, but that's pretty good to start with. Okay, rinsed them off one more time in the sink, and now I'm gonna set them here by the fire. I was gonna turn the fire off, but now I'm gonna let those dry for a bit. Okay, I paused for a little cookie snack. I'm gonna run this stuff up to my room. I'll show you what I've got packed up there so far. See how handy these bags are to carry all the stuff? That's why we take them for all our beach gear when we get there. All right, we've got our suitcases all set out, and this is what I've got packed out so far, including my shoes. We've got all of my shorts. I won't go into all of it, but I've got shorts and nightgowns and tank tops and swimsuits are all right here, wraps. Then I have two dresses and a nicer shirt just kind of laying here. These are some suits of Ashley's that we kind of have laid out along with pool toys. So this is like Grand Central Station while I prep everything. And I'm actually kind of glad that I have the table cleared off now because I can kind of lay things out and fold things and get them a little bit more prepped and then they'll be able to go into the bag. I've got my little pet compression bags that came out of my travel bag when we went to Portland that I can use now and then I can kind of start to pack this kind of stuff. I'm not going to do a ton of that left today because I have to do a call with Ashley here in a second. And then she's going to get taken down to the fun center with her friend's sister and <laughs> she's going to be really excited. We just confirmed everything, sent the Groupon code to the friend and she's all set to go with that. But then Abby texted me and she's like, can I come home? <laughs> she's like, I don't want to go to, they call it nest and it's like their study period and kind of a, a blank period. And then I think she has like one class after that. She's like, I just want to come home. <laughs> She is so good with doing her homework and she is like bored in classes because she understands the material. She's ahead on the homework and she just kind of struggles. She said yesterday that she sleeps through two of the classes like every day because she's just so caught up and like understands everything. And the teacher can't get mad at her because he knows or she knows or whatever. They know that she's doing just fine in the class so they just let her sleep. So I have to go and get her because I understand. I kind of understand what that's like. Anyways, I'm not gonna be able to get more of this done today but I like having it in a center location. A lot of this stuff can just get packed. All the snorkel face masks and I just need to go through the sunscreen and make sure you know ones are full or not full or gone bad. But a lot of this can just go ahead and get packed. I don't need to have it out and I don't need my swimsuits. You know I can get that put into compression bags and I don't need the dresses because it's too cold so I can pack those along with the shorts. So a lot of this is actually going to be able to get packed and be done with. And then like this is easy to do like the week before like my little makeup and all that kind of stuff and then I'll be able to do like bathroom supplies in my other bag. I have that here. I've already kind of pulled it out and kind of started to prep and decide like what do I want to take. We got this soap from the hotel we stayed at. It's really nice. So I'm going to take that along with the Dove soap that I bought from the dollar store. And then here is our scale. I'm actually going to take that out by the suitcases. This is Jason's razor that broke and the reason why he had to shave his face because <laughs> it accidentally nicked the wrong part of his little mustache. So we'll put this guy out here so that I don't lose that. And then I think I have to get down to help Ashley on her call. Ashley's not home yet, so I quickly came down. This is dry. Literally, it's been like a half hour and it's hot in here. So we can turn that off and I'll toss these upstairs when I go next. This just dries. This, this isn't quite dry quite yet, but um, it'll sit up there for a while before I actually pack it. Yeah. Pookie's home. Show us what you got. So I got a poster. You got a poster? Is that what you chose? Yeah. I have a surprise for you. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it'll be here by your birthday, but I do have a surprise for you. Oh, it's Stitch. Is that Stitch? Yeah, Stitch. Hi, Stitch. That's cute. I got a book. A book. That was the idea at the book fair. The right. Diary of a Pug. Yeah. Okay. And then... Is that my change? I hear change. Yeah, pop it. A pop it. That one's cute. A little itty bitty. Yeah. Your fingers are little though, so that's cute. And I, like, I wonder. Look at the colors. <laughs> I wonder if she likes purple and pink. And then I got this little dude. Oh, I loved those little guys when I was little. <laughs> hang on, hang on. No, it doesn't want to focus on that. And then I got this. What is that? Um, it was. I thought it was gonna be a highlighter, but it's just a rubber. Thing. Oh. It's a bunch of eraser, but. All right. And how much is my change? One dollar. One dollar. Oh, I gave you fifteen. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I thought you were supposed to get one trinket. <laughs> <laughs> Give a girl fifteen, and she spends it all. Well, all right. Well, at least you got the book. It was like $6. Uh-huh, I gave you 15 That's not most of the money. Well, it's Good thing you're cute. And these are fidgets, and you like fidgets. So but here I you go. I can't do them at school because I'm not allowed to. Okay. I got it back. 
and you got a bag. And where's all the coins? Okay, that's it. Not even a dollar. That's all I got. Oh dear. Sorry. Was that a little sorry? <laughs> Well, I'm trying to get a link for it. I haven't seen one in any of my emails, so I'm working on it. You go and get your hands washed, put all those toys just on the counter, and then um, maybe grab a protein drink and a granola bar. Oh, there's no more. Okay, grab a little bite to eat really quick and then come back in here and we'll see if I get it to work. Okay, we've got Ashley a little snack, a granola bar and a water packed, and then she's having some granola, or what are these called? Graham crackers and raspberries and some milk before your friend comes to get you, right? Yeah. And your appointment went well? Do you feel like it was okay? Nervous. You were nervous? Here, pause it real quick. Tell, tell everyone what he has, what your doctor has. Three ferrets. They ha he has three ferrets. Did you get to meet all three of them or just one of them? One of them. The, the other two are asleep. Oh. Are you going to like to see his ferrets every time? I told my friend because she likes ferrets and she's like, I want to see them. <laughs> Is that going to make it easier to get on with him next time? A little, knowing you can see the ferret. No, I only got to see him for a little bit because he was tired. Yeah. All right, you have your snack and then you get to go play today. Are you excited about that? Yes, yeah, man. you're gonna go play arcade games and you're gonna have fun. You fill my head with roses. I can't help but dream away. Standing on a field with you and flowers everywhere. Yeah. You had a good time? I also got stuff. You got stuff? Because with the points, like the... Oh, you earned tickets? I got... Um, Ashley just got home from the arcade and Daddy is on the, home, on the phone coming home from school or from work. You got a lollipop and airheads and I, Daddy can't see it so you have to say it out loud. Lollipop. So it looks like that um, arcade gave you a lot of candy. <laughs> There's more but we couldn't get Your lips and teeth are blue so obviously you got something else. Yeah, fun dip. Fun dip? Oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> She's already giggling. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll see you home soon. Okay. All right. Drive safe. Yeah. Bye. You had a good time? Yeah. Good. We also I, got, I think it's, you also got what? The car is so we can use it next. Oh, I thought she said you emptied it. Yeah, we emptied it. <laughs> because um, uh, you got points from doing stuff and then you had to use them so you couldn't really use Oh. Uh -huh. <sighs> Alright. I think it's a good idea to take a shower tonight. Yeah. yeah. And we don't have any masks for school tomorrow so maybe that one on the counter needs to go into the wash and you need to bring me laundry so that I can wash everything. Including your jacket and all the clothes on. Can I get a new jacket? I really need one. Oh, go shower and we'll talk later. Alright. My face. I'm kind of hot. Uh, but anyway, I've been sitting here finishing editing a video, but I'm also like starting to prep for Hawaii. I'm always prepping for Hawaii, but I have to like schedule out videos and I want to know what you guys think about this. I have redone two videos of Hawaii and I think I might redo one more just like to make them one, re-releasable, -re and two, I have like cringy intros that I did years ago and I'm just cutting those out. <laughs> So I think I'm gonna re-release three of our Hawaii trips. Two of them are Maui, no, yeah. One of them is Maui top 10, and then Kauai top 10, and I just wanna re-release my Waipuli Beach Resort um, review vid video, because I have a really cringy intro on that one. I keep um, posting it on the Facebook groups, and I cringe every time I do it, but it's a really good video, aside from the first 20 seconds of it, so I redid it. <laughs> Anyway, so I'm, I want to re-release those right in line with like right before we go on this trip, but I don't want to waste like a weekly video day and not have something else for you guys to watch as we prep to go on vacation. Plus we have three birthdays to celebrate and we have an extra bonus gift day that you guys don't know about. In order to have all of those videos be releasable on a regular weekday when I normally post and have three Hawaii videos and a pack, you know, like a pack with me what's in my travel bag, it's too many videos to get in in like one week so I'm thinking of releasing those extra Hawaii videos over the weekend even like maybe one or two a day on a non day like a non regular day of posting a video and then um, maybe one extra on the day we like actually pack and I show you what's in our suitcases and stuff like the final one so what do you guys think about that because I know some of you are very antsy to see Hawaii videos again and I am too I hear you so I thought I would give you a little like sneak peek but it's like past trips or whatever so let me know in the comments down below if you guys think 
think that would be fun. But in order to, for me to do that, I kind of have to like map out what that looks like calendar wise. And I think I might actually not film on certain days leading up to our trip because there's just too many videos to edit and, and get prepped or whatever. So that's what I have been doing. You can see like all of the like mapped out here on my desk. That's all I've been doing. <laughs> So, yeah, Ashley, you need to go take a shower. I'm gonna take a shower after you do, so don't take all my hot water, okay? I really need you to go shower, because yeah. mom and dad have a call tonight right at bedtime. Yeah. We're still on this jacket scenario. You know you have a birthday in two weeks, right? So stop asking for things. But Just, I, I need you to trust. No, but. Two weeks. Go and ask yeah. Alexa how many birth how many days until your birthday. Go and ask. No. Yes. No. <sighs> I might just end this here because we are busy the rest of the night. So I might call it with you guys. It's very fun to start packing and prepping and scheduling, getting ready for vacations. I have, I'm missing one towel and it's driving me nuts. So I have added to my list of things to do is find that towel. It's gotta be in one of their bedrooms. I'm very meticulous at the end of the summer season to like get everything put back away, but somehow that one slipped through. We're getting close, you guys. But like I said, I kind of prep for a little bit and then it's go time. So that's what I'm doing and that's what I enjoy doing because it causes me less stress. So anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. Take care and again, let me know in the comments below if you would like to see some of those extra videos and a lot of them you've already seen. If you came to these, if you came to our channel because of those Hawaii videos, you might have already seen them again. So that's why I didn't want to post them on a regular like schedule day because I would rather you just see our daily stuff. So they're just bonus. So let me know if you would like that and we'll take care because we have some time. I will see by the time I see your comments, I will know to schedule those out. So let me know and I will see you guys next time. Take care.